Okay, Roman Polanski's Repulsion. You actually can catch this on, on YouTube and it's full fullness. You don't need to spend money to see it on Amazon Prime or all that. A lot of the versions are kind of grainy, but this is a film that I want to say as of now is 50 years old. So this is the very classic Roman Polanski look at an attractive woman whose world begins to crumble <clears throat> when she's left alone. And it crumbles quickly. This is shot beautifully. From lots of close-ups of the of, of the female lead of, of Carol's face <clears throat> to shots of the world just kind of decaying around her to all these different camera angles. It is shot entirely black and white, so if you're not a black and white fan of a very slow, methodical build film. I mean, this is about I want to say we're about a little over 200 minutes, and this is a very slow build. You're going to see some things, but again, this is black and white, so you can kind of put things in the shadow, you put things in the shade. You're not going to see any true, true level of violence that we would consider violence nowadays. Put yourself in the mindset of 50 years ago, and this film is absolutely terrifying and groundbreaking. It's still done very well. There's a very unique cinematic feel to it. This is, however, a slow burn. <clears throat> If you're expecting, like, right out the bat, stuff's going to happen, no. This is one of those slow descent into madness sort of films where in order to show that slow descent into madness, it needs to be a slow film. For some people, that's what kind of hurts it. But the fact that it is this nice, it's a beautifully done, nice, like, I'm up here, everything's okay, everything is slowly fading, 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 fading. But that change feels kind of gradual as you're watching the film, because again, we're a little over 100 minutes. And then you hit a point where you realize you're still going down. And as you're watching it, you get about the midway point and you're like, it feels like I'm watching a slightly different film because of how much things have essentially have gradated from the, the, the from Carol's viewpoint. But interesting film. Just just be prepared, you're in for a a long sort of experience. This isn't a sprint, this is a marathon, but definitely well worth it.